Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be going through the 7th year anniversary rewards for Star Wars The Old Republic. To grab these decorations uh, you should go ahead and go to the anniversary personnel vendor on the stronghold section of the fleet. Now this vendor will actually have all of the decorations from previous years as well. So if you haven't picked up the Senia Tyrell's hollow statue or the Old Republic flare or some of the older decorations that were made available for the past 2 or 3 years make sure you do so. They're all available there and I'm not sure for how long they'll be there for. So go ahead and pick them up and then you will get also the new anniversary decoration vendors for this year. And those decorations are really quite phenomenal. There's no reason to not go ahead and get these. They're absolutely for free and you should actually pick up 1,000 of each because you get two prestige for each decoration you unlock. So that's kind of a free 2,000 prestige right there. Without further ado though, we'll go ahead and take a look at these new decorations. Do be aware of minor story spoilers for these, because um, they do kind of relate to the new Osa storyline. So let's get into it, I'm going to jump over to my stronghold. Before going uh, into the new decorations, I just want to take a look at the new toy regen, which is actually kind of a reskin of the one man band, which was a really neat, dec uh, really neat toy regen from the Acolyte Shadow Pack way many years ago. But this one is very similar to that, except as your character is kind of playing the weird kind of guitar-like instrument, some really cool fireworks come out from the back. And it's just a really cool toy region. I'll show kind of the full duration of it right now, but it is really neat. Go ahead and pick it up. The decorations, however, are really something else, and um, I'm really glad they made these for free for all players because it's nice to see cool things that aren't gated behind the carton market. The first decoration to take a look at is easily the best one. This is the statue of Darth Malchus the Returned. And I think two things to note that are really cool in terms of details of this um, statue is that the first one is the flag. I mean, the flag is really cool. It actually waves in the air and it has the Imperial logo on it. Now, a flag like this, I don't think we have this on really many decorations and especially on a statue decoration. So this one is really neat. Go ahead and pick this one up. The other really cool thing is you actually have the damaged version of Darth Malgus's lightsaber that he's holding in, I believe, his left hand. And this is actually a cartel market item that will be made available soon. But it's a really cool kind of, uh, really cool look for a lightsaber. So indeed, Darth Malgus statue, really cool design to it, really intricate details. This is a really cool free decoration to have. The other two decorations to take a look at is actually a podium that displays Darth Malgus's damaged lightsaber, which I was just talking about, as well as Satil Shan's lightsaber. And the kind of the old, really cool dynamic duo of both of them. It's really cool to have kind of their weapons being displayed. And we only have a few types of these decorations where they kind of display a weapon. There are some really cool ones that were released a while back, like the rifle display case and other things like that. And these in general are just really neat decorations to have. So it's cool to have the free ones made available here. And since you can actually collect 1,000 of them, you can create kind of a really cool room where you're like showcasing a whole bunch of them. So yeah, nothing much else to say except these are really cool decorations. Go pick them up. Check them out for yourselves. Absolutely for free. Zero credits. So um, cool. Thank you Bioware for offering us some awesome items that aren't gated behind a paywall. It's really cool to see this. I hope you can add kind of more of these types of decorations, perhaps interweaving it into the game. For those of you who don't know, with the new Osu storyline actually on the planet, uh, you can get a new weapon tuning and this is a really cool weapon tuning that has this kind of vine like appearance to it I haven't collected it myself personally, but I have seen images online and it's a really cool weapon tuning that is Absolutely only available through playing in game. You can get one of them for each character You can also get uh, you actually buy it on equips so you can get one off the GTN technically depending upon how much kind of people want for it I'm sure it goes for millions of credits But it's kind of cool once again to see that Bioware is making that change to offering really cool items in game Game, and I really hope they continue this trend going with the new 6.0 uh, expansion coming next year. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and check out these decorations. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.